years. Sierra takes part in a cocktail making demonstration with a mixologist from Smoked in Columbia. Take a look. All right, everybody, we're going to get ready to shake things up. We're going to show you how to make a drink at home, but we're going to do it right here in our studio for now. I'm joined today by bartender from Smoke, Jake, and I'm so excited. We have all these ingredients in front of us. And I'm ready to get started. So, Jake, tell us what right. we're making today. We're making a drink called Open Sesame. Ooh. Uh, it's a, a new drink for our fall cocktail menu at Smoke. It'll be releasing soon. Um, it's a lot like a, like a lighter uh, Bloody Mary. It's got a little savory element, very refreshing. Um, but definitely got some fall going on to it. Uh, it was created by Mackenzie Blowing, one of our awesome bartenders that smoked. Um, and uh, it's just a really, really fun drink. So. Well, I'm excited and I'm ready to get started, but yeah. I have to say this. I did not realize that in the morning you guys are part juice company. You guys Absolutely. are in there pumping the juice. Absolutely. Tell us about that process of juicing and making yeah. some of these juices. We make all of our own ingredients in-house. Um, Syrups, juices, everything that we use is made in house. So with the juices, it's everything, all of our citrus. Um, we do our green juice that we're using for this cocktail. This is parsnips, cucumber, jalapeno, and uh, spinach. Okay. Um, so we're always back there kind of juicing new ingredients, trying to figure out what's going to taste good. But freshness is key. Mm. Um, the difference is 100% uh, you know, something that you can, you can tell. So we pride ourselves in doing that, and that's something that we'll never change on. And you know, I love hearing that you guys make everything in-house, all fresh ingredients. So you're going to be getting something a little different at Smoke that you're not going to really get much place else. So before we get started, I want us to kind of talk about the ingredients that are going to be in the open sesame. Absolutely. So key ingredient here is our green juice. Chemical uh, X. This is our chemical yes, X Yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, and it, I mean, you know, we, we decided to call it green juice because there was just no, you know, fancy way to name this. It's... Pars fresh uh, parsnip juice, cucumber juice, jalapeno, and spinach juice. Very light on the jalapeno, not a, a huge amount of spice, just enough to give you a tingle. Nice little kick. Absolutely. Um, pineapple juice, we always love to use just because uh, it gives you froth um, and it kind of balances some tart elements like the lime juice that we're going to use. Uh, and then as far as our spirits that are going in, we have velvet falernum, which is a, a, an ingredient you'll see a lot in kind of like tropical cocktails. Mm -hmm. It's got like a, like a baking spice element going on. Um, this one is a little bit more off the beaten path. This is Boomsma Clooster Bitter. Oh, wow. Uh, this is an herbal liqueur, very similar to like a green chartreuse. Um, it's a little lower proof point than green chartreuse, so we used it to make this drink a little bit more accessible. Um, and then St. George Tawar Gin. Um, this is a gin that has some, um, some of those piney elements you may be used to in gin, but maybe leans a little bit more into the cedar, so it's not quite as abrasive with the juniper. Um, kind of a do-it-all gin that we really love. I love that. And now let's talk about the garnishes here. That's Absolutely. very fun. Absolutely. So um, we're huge on presentation, especially visually. Um, and so here we have uh, a very thinly sliced uh, watermelon radish that's just rolled up and then some fresh lime peel that we cut. Okay, awesome. Well, we're going to go ahead and get started. And <laughs> what's the first step? First step, um, we always work cheapest ingredients and most expensive. So uh, we're going to start with our green juice. Okay. So I'm going to be making this as well. So, yeah. you know, I'm learning from the pro here, so don't Absolutely. judge me. So we're going to pop this off. I don't okay. even know how to open it. So let's start there. Okay. So cool. So about right. how much are we adding of this into which one? So oh, oh, we always build into our, our, our uh, small tin here. Okay. Um, and so we're going to use our jigger. This is the most important part of, of craft bartending that a lot of people forget about. Uh, we're going to do an ounce and a half. So that's going to be that that line just below the top of the jigger. Okay, perfect. So green juice down. Green juice, half. All righty. Next ingredient is going to be our pineapple juice. I'll share this one with you. This one is going to be just a quarter ounce. So this smells on the, really good. Oh, it's it's delicious. Um, on the smaller side of your jigger, it's the very bottom line. You can hardly see it. It's about halfway to that kind of middle line. Okay, so halfway to the middle line. Halfway to the middle line. This is that, the perfect example of when you cheat on someone's test and mm -hmm. yours doesn't turn out as well as theirs. That's okay. That's, okay. <laughs> That's what we're learning for. Uh, and we're actually about to start a, uh, a cocktail classroom series. So, I love it. Uh, we'll be kind of teaching people these finer details. Next is lime juice, and we're going to do a full ounce. So that's all the way to the top of your uh, smaller side. Ooh, okay. Then we're going to get into our spirits and i love how it all is literally green like everything over here is green absolutely uh so we're going to start with velvet flarinum so that's okay. that spice okay. liqueur and we're going to do a half ounce of that middle line again on your small side mm -hmm. 
This is definitely a science test we're cheating on right now. For sure. <laughs> With all the mixing here. <laughs> uh, boom's my clooster bitter. Uh, we're gonna do uh, three quarters of an ounce. So it'll be that line just below the top line of your small side of your jigger. And this one is even green on the inside. Mm. We're definitely on the green theme here. Yes, it's like a Hulk, it's like an incredible Hulk. Absolutely. It'll make you feel like one after two. This is, it's good for you and it tastes good. Uh, and then our gin finally, and we're gonna do just an ounce of the gin. Gin and juice. Absolutely. Just an ounce. <laughs> Alrighty. All right. How long have you been bartending? Uh, I've been bartending for eight years now. Oh, wow. So you are a true mixologist. I've been doing it for a while. <laughs> uh, in the beginning, I was definitely kind of doing more casual stuff, and mm -hmm. then I fell in love with this side of it and never looked back. So. I love that. Listen, you are, you have to know what flavors go together, what Absolutely. doesn't. I love it. All right, so. So we're going to give this a good shake. Okay. Shaking is very important. So hold your shaker horizontally, go back and forth, and then you want to kind of give it a little bit of a twist with your wrist here. So we're diluting, we're mixing, and we're aerating here. So this is a process that's extremely important. I want to look like you, though. <laughs> <laughs> it comes with practice. It's it's definitely not a, a natural feeling, but you I'm gonna go to it. I'm going to go recreate this, and I'm going to make people think, yeah, I know how to, yeah. Absolutely. Sure, sure thing. All right, cool. So then we're just, all we're going to do from here um, is we're just going to pour into our glass. Awesome. Well, it definitely looks the same color, so I, so far, so good. Absolutely. It looks like you have a little more than me, so my measurements were obviously right. a little off. I practice a lot. So. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then our garnish just slides in. So you've got some nice contrast there. Perfect. I love that I pop of that pink. Absolutely. I love that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All righty. And obviously there's a, a final step here. Uh, the final step is to drink it. We gotta That's try the it. most important part. We gotta try it, so let's try. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. We have a one sip rule here, so I can't drink, <laughs> take another <laughs> sip. But oh my goodness. That is phenomenal. Thank you. Oh my, I've heard flavor bursts before. You taste, I taste celery a little bit. Mm -hmm. I definitely, you don't even really taste the, the alcohol much. It's very wow. refreshing. This is what I would consider a nice and refreshing drink. And it, it almost makes me feel healthy though. Absolutely. I feel healthy. And you mentioned that this is kind of like a um, Bloody Mary, Absolutely. but like a greener Bloody Absolutely. Mary. Kind of like a green Bloody Mary, yeah. It's, I love it. It's, uh, you know, here in Columbia, we have, uh, you know, fall in parentheses yeah. and it's, you know, kind of an extension of summer and then suddenly it's winter. So this yeah. is something that's refreshing enough to last in the heat. I love it. And then heavy enough as you get into winter, it'll, you know, keep you warm. And guess what? It's not pumpkin spice. So mm -hmm. it's definitely going to be really good. And I'm not it's saying so pumpkin spice, is not, there's nothing wrong with pumpkin spice. Oh, I love spice, pumpkin spice. But I, I definitely think this needs to be that new, this new fall flavor. Absolutely. Green juice. All right, awesome. Well, I want to thank you for joining us today. Thank you this for having me. This is your exclusive look at what's going to be heading to Smoke's menu. Make sure you check this out and tell them Soda City Living sent you. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. me, Jake. Thanks for having me. All right, we're going to have much more after this. Cheers. Cheers. Love it.